It is time right now for Festival Fest, which is the thing Kate normally does when she talks about things to do in Western New York. And we are in Lewiston this afternoon because they are getting ready for their garden walk this weekend. And we are with Tasha Fitzpatrick right now at one of the beautiful homes that participates. But it's not just the tour of the private gardens. There's also a vendor and festival aspect to this as well. Absolutely. So I'm part of the Lewiston Garden Club who's been around for 95 years. So our theme this year is keeping Lewiston in bloom for 95 years. We have a garden festival this weekend, Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5 on our center street that they shut down and there's about 80 vendors that will be there so all kinds of outdoor plants outdoor tchotchkes uh, there's guest speakers uh, things for children to do and then there's a series of homes you can come and take a look at the gardens themselves like this beautiful garden just an absolutely exquisite garden we're gonna hear a little bit more about it at the end of this segment but Tasha what makes the Lewiston garden walk so special I think because we are so invested in our community so the garden club we do all the plantings on Center Street we're all gardeners ourselves some masters, some just good gardeners, some just gardener wannabes. So we'd like to showcase that and the Garden Festival helps us do that. And the money we make from it, we put right back into Lewiston. Tasha, thank you. And here's a quick look at what else is happening around town this weekend. The Buffalo Juneteenth Festival is back at Martin Luther King Jr. Park this weekend with the parade setting off at 11 on Saturday morning. The Be Kind Father's Day Vendor Fair will be at Becker Farms on Saturday from 11 to 3. And the Western New York Tractor Pullers Association is having a free Father's Day tractor pull on Sunday at noon at the Western New York Gas and Steam Engine Grounds in Alexander. The Castellani Art Museum at Niagara University is celebrating three new exhibitions this Thursday starting at 4.30. Literacy of Love has a beer tasting to raise money for a medical clinic in Uganda. That's Saturday from 2 to 5 at Ellicottville Distillery. Red, White and Brews with the Clarence Citizens for Veterans is happening from 5 to 10 on Saturday in Clarence Town Park. And the Tropical Fish Club of Erie County will be at the Eastern Hills Mall for a swap meet Saturday from 10 to 2. The Boston Lions Club is having a Father's Day chicken barbecue on Sunday at the Three Girls Cafe. Dragonfly Art and Souls Summer Solstice Expo is also happening Saturday at their salon on Main Street in Williamsville. And back in Lewiston now where we have been hanging out in Mary Alice Eckert's beautiful garden right along Center Street. And this must be like your Super Bowl getting ready for Garden Fest weekend. It's fun. I, I you know, it, but I figured out instead of making it, this is work, it's, it's our hobby. <laughs> With a garden this big, it has to be a hobby. <laughs> you and your husband do everything yourselves. We do. We do. We really love it, though. You know, it's a good way to spend time, and the peacefulness of this right in the middle of it. It's a busy village in the summer, so it's really, it's like our own little piece of heaven right here. You know? What is it like on Garden Fest weekend to see everyone come and enjoy it and to entertain everyone? I think part of the reason why my husband and I like to do this so much is because it brings so much joy to the people that come through. Um, everybody comes in is smiling, they're happy, they want to know what's this, what's that, how long have you been here, how old's the house, um, do you guys do this all the time, what about the fish, and everybody's happy. And you know, when you can spread joy, it's all a good thing. <laughs> and in addition to the Garden Fest also happening this weekend in Lewiston is Art Park's third annual Strawberry Moon Festival. We will hear more about that throughout the week from our Kevin O'Neill. But for now, this has been Lauren Hall reporting in Lewiston for Festival Fest. Thanks for watching Most Buffalo today. Channel 2 News, first at five, starts now.